Performing live is what I do best. It's my favorite thing to do, and it's how I fell in love with music. It's really special that it's the BET Awards because my music is finally reaching the black community, and that's so exciting for me because I make such self-love, positive music. So an off-site rehearsal is just, you know, we go to a dance studio. And we're just basically rehearsing with the exact same measurements of the stage. We have this beautiful black wedding with all these beautiful, curvaceous women celebrating themselves and celebrating their love for themselves with a wedding ceremony. We have this amazing three-tiered cake and we were really thinking about like iconic performances and how we were gonna just make this our own. necessarily think we need it now that I added those claps. Working with Jamel has been really exciting. I was like, yo, I gotta have more dancers. We gotta step our game up. So bringing him in has been awesome. I remember I saw Janelle Monet perform last year and I was like, who's doing that? Whoever's doing that choreography, I want that person. Am I just doing this right? Yeah, you're good. We found him and he's been incredible. Oh, that looks cool. I haven't been able to see him It was very surreal walking into the Microsoft Theater, seeing the cake and the screens and all the dancers on the cake and all of the things that we looked at in an email, like a map of the stage was actually there. With this performance, is the BET Awards, so we wanted to go hard. You know, you go hard or go home, so this is the most dancers I've ever had on stage. We found 20 curvy girls, 20 black girls doing the craziest choreography. And we're all dressed in beautiful streetwear, couture, bridal wear. And we're gonna be shining and glittering and, you know, sequined out with diamonds everywhere. It's perfect, it's a fantasy. I was definitely, with Jamal, I was giving him a lot of my opinions of running through a lot of this stuff for the first time. Like, for instance, the bouquet was hella thick. Like, I need to grab that bouquet on the fly, and it was too thick for my hands. Another thing is the cake felt a little slippery, and that was making me nervous. Little things like that, I really am just showing off who I am, showing off that rock and roll performer that everybody fell in love with, and just having fun up there. That's my goal. I still can't believe that I'm gonna be performing on that stage and all those people, the little cardboard cutouts like Rihanna in the front row, I was like, this is about to be amazing. This next performer, she takes black girl magic to a new level. I'm making this music as a big black woman and I would love for all my black girls to be able to get some of this musical medicine. So it's an honor to be able to play the BET Awards. It's just exciting that I get the opportunity to have my own iconic moment. Give it up for Lizzo! BET! Do you want some cake? I'm a hundred percent that bitch Even when I'm crying crazy Yeah, I got boy problems That's the human in me Bling, bling, then I saw the best of God You could have had a bad bitch I hope that little girls who look like me and little boys that look like me can see themselves and see what's possible I mean, I'm pulling you back I want the people who are in the crowd to just feel the love feel the self-love, feel the positive vibes. We're always trying to bring the light into the room, you know? If I'm shining, everybody gonna shine, so we brought the diamonds to make sure that happens. I'm really kind of letting this full circle moment sink in, and it's just been really, really fun and exciting and uh, humbling to watch where I came from and where I'm ending up and where I'm going. This is 
our story that we're sharing and we just feel so victorious and so triumphant. And that picture of us marrying ourselves in true love, that's the energy all 2019 to the future. Oh, I'm so proud. Oh.